Welcome to how to fix your Ream Criterion 2 gas furnace with two burners. The lighting process takes about a minute and the hot surface igniter comes on at 50 seconds. You can see it glowing. However, the problem I have is that either only one burner lights and the furnace shuts off, or the first burner lights and the second burner lights but takes a few seconds to catch, so the flame sensor does not get hot and the furnace shuts down. If this happens multiple times in a row, the furnace will shut off for an hour for safety. And if this happens at night, you will wake up to a very cold house. For this job, you will need a can of compressed air, a quarter inch socket and ratchet, a piece of sandpaper or steel wool, and my furnace is filthy so I'm going to use a vacuum to get rid of the dust. If you use a vacuum, be careful of the wires. Before you begin, shut off the gas at the control valve, turn off the control switch, and turn off your furnace breaker. Here is the burner cover. Right above my finger here is the hot surface igniter. And over here on the left side is the flame sensor. There are three quarter inch screws to remove the burner cover. One in the middle, one on the right, and one on the left. Once the screws are removed, you can push the burner cover forward and lift to remove it. Now that you have easy access to the bottom of the furnace to clean it and the flame sensor rod, and to make sure it's properly settled in the middle path of the flame. And up here is the over temperature switch, which shuts off the furnace if it gets too hot. Looking down on the burner cover, you can see there's lots of dust to be cleaned out. The gas enters at this end and travels through to the other end. The hot surface igniter lights this side and then the flame is supposed to travel across the middle and light the second burner almost instantly. Somewhere in this, the burner is clogged and the second burner is not getting lit. Use a can of compressed air or an air compressor and make sure you shoot the air in either direction but not straight back so that nothing gets stuck in the burner cover. Now that everything is clean, we can put it back together. Line up the burner cover with the gas outlets and then put back in the three screws you removed. Now that everything is clean, we are going to turn on the furnace breaker, turn on the gas, and turn on the heat. If you're feeling confident here, you can push the safety button and watch your furnace light. Or you can put back on the covers and as soon as the second cover goes on, it will depress the switch and your furnace will turn on. I'm going to leave it open to give you a better view of the lighting process. We are going to watch the hot surface igniter get hot. And there's the gas and it lit instantly. So we have success. Good luck.